The opinions and statements made on the Josh Bernstein Show are solely those of the host and do not reflect those of any of the show's advertisers or sponsors. President Trump could cure cancer tomorrow and rescue kittens from a burning building, and they'd still call him a piece of I don't want to drain the swamp. What I want to do is I want to drown these swamp monsters in their own swamp water. And now, America's favorite bald badass, Josh Bernstein. Welcome back to the program. Here's another story that happened last week that nobody covered. The media completely ignored it. Uh, even conservative media, for the most part, completely ignored it as well. But that's why you come to the Josh Bernstein Show, because you get news that typically is not covered elsewhere. Well, here's another one of those interesting stories. The Department of Justice and the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Eastern District of Virginia said in a press release that a former FBI Arabic translator was arrested and indicted on obstruction charges relating to an ongoing terrorism investigation. According to court documents, Haji Raji, 66 years old of Burke, Virginia, was a federal contractor for the FBI. He is accused of intentionally misidentifying his own voice that was captured on a voicemail message. It turns out that Raji was caught on a wiretap in the same criminal investigation, terrorism investigation, and speaking with suspected terrorists with the Al-Shabaab terrorist organization. Then when he was confronted with this information, he lied about it saying that that was not his voice on the cell phone voicemail, which obviously it was it gets worse. It turns out that Haji Raji joined the terrorist organization CARE, okay, Council on American Islamic Relations, and tried to help them secretly shut down the United States government's terrorist screening database. Raji is charged with making false statements to government officials and obstruction of a federal investigation. If convicted, he could face as many as 25 years in prison. I think he also should have had some extra charges done because of the fact that he should have been charged with conspiracy, with treason against the United States by working with a terrorist organization for his ties to CARE. CARE was designated a terrorist organization by the United Arab Emirates in 2014, as well as other countries around the world. CARE has deep ties to the Muslim Brotherhood, which again is another terrorist organization. It is way past the time that both the Muslim Brotherhood and CARE are designated as terrorist organizations by our United States government. It is ridiculous to know that these people are co-conspirators in terrorism and have provided funding and have provided um, you know, fundraising and money and support to terrorist and terrorist organizations around the world. Yet, they come into this country and they act like you know, they're on the up and up because they're wearing a suit and they don't have a, a strong accent or whatever, like the guy that runs uh, CARE. He comes out as, a, as if he's just a normal, everyday guy. Well, we just want to make sure that Muslim relations are great for America. Please, it's a terrorist organization, and it should be designated as such. What are your thoughts? Please put it down in the comments below. We'll be right back. The farther a society gets away from the truth, the more they hate those that speak it. I want to thank you personally for watching my video. I hope you enjoy the way that I do my show. Uh, it is uh, a unique way of doing it. I give you all the facts. I give you everything. I'm a truth seeker and a truth teller. And for that, I am also a target. And this channel is not monetized. How do you know it's not monetized? 
Do you see any commercials running? Are any commercials interrupting what I'm doing? No, they're not. So please help me monetize this program. YouTube has shut me down from being able to make any kind of monetization on what I'm doing and my efforts. So basically, I'm taking the arrows, I'm taking the risk, and so far, putting it out in my own pocket, putting it out there for everyone, and not really getting compensated for it. So please, do me a favor, if you like what I do, go to patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Again, you can see it in the image, www.patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein. Put five, ten dollars uh, a month on my Patreon. Uh, it's not a, an expenditure. It's an investment. It's an investment in future freedoms. It's an investment in prosperity because I eat, sleep, and breathe protecting this nation. And remember, in times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Thank you, and God bless you.